Hey all you cool cats, this is Mina and welcome back to another episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. I just finished recording uh, the first part and so we're on to the second part. Um, I've been thinking while I took a small break to, to walk around the house and stretch, um, I've been thinking about who could have done this and I, I, I don't, it, it's not Kaido. It's not, it's not Smoogie. And since it can only be somebody on my side of the, of, of the, um, map, it has to be either Gonta or Kokichi. And I don't need to tell you which one is going to make a sadder reveal if it's, if it's who I think it is. Um, anyways. <clears throat> Man, I'm bushed. I got no motivation at all, and Monophony's period is late too. Uh, Father, why do you know Monophony's cycle? And another... Never mind that. Perhaps this lack of motivation is due to a lack of hibernation. Yeah. Lack of hibernation? Mm, yeah. I haven't been sleeping well lately, so I haven't really been able to hibernate. That's awful. Is it because you have a lot on your mind? Huh? Huh? Uh, is it because the graveyard shift pays a better hourly wage? Huh? Really? Is it because you don't want them to think you're just goofing around? Huh? Uh, is it because you want to stay friends? Huh? Uh, is it because you want to watch it in real time? Father? Hmm. He's gone into hibernation. We should let him be. Yeah, you're right. Night night. What is going on with They're so weird? I'm, I've I've stopped trying to understand them too. They're just gonna be weird. And I'm not gonna understand what their deal is. Uh, oh, that's right, it's voiced. That is a colossal death flag. I'll be surprised if he doesn't die after that. <laughs> More importantly, let's continue the conversation where we left off. We understand Mew plotted the murder, but we need to find out who killed her. And in order to figure that out, we need to understand Mew's actions. So let's discuss her murder scheme step by step. I know that's important, but hearing you lead the conversation really pisses me off. <laughs> Let's see. You manipulated the virtual world to use it as part of her murder plan. <sighs> if I'm right... If I'm right, the, the one thing that I don't understand is... I, I don't understand... What, what's the motivation to kill? I don't get that. Like, I, I understand what Kokichi's motivation to kill would be, but what would... I wouldn't understand why Gonto would. That's the part that gets me. And the other thing is, is I don't get what Kokichi's plan was from the beginning. Like, what is, what is the reason for doing all of this? Is it just for a laugh? Is it just to be... You know, just to, to cause some sort of... I don't, I don't understand the, the end game here, Kokichi. Clearly he's not invested in this, because if he was... If he actually wanted to get away with this killing, he wouldn't be doing this. He's literally leading me down the correct path. This is the correct path he's leading me down. He's not like... 
Corey Keogh who is just, you know, throwing me all over the place. This is this is legit. So I don't get it. I don't get what he's doing. I don't. Don't just ignore me and start anyway. If she had succeeded, she would have gone past the wall between the chapel and mansion. And then wham! Murdered me on the roof with the hammer. She would make the murder seem like it happened in the real world, and then pin it on Kaito. As for Mew's alibi in the real world, she could say she was locked into the virtual world. And in the virtual world, she could say she was near the chapel the entire time. She'd make an excuse about how she couldn't reach the mansion because of the fallen bridge. This is all very obvious, but it's not going to lead me to the- Are we going to seriously go through this again? Oh, my hair slapped. She dropped me. the bridge on purpose so she could separate the chapel from the mansion. Then secretly passed through the wall she installed and took advantage of the loop. After, she headed to where we were supposed to meet her, the mansion's rooftop. Oh, yeah. Kaito was probably logged out around that time, too. That's when I saw Mew. Problem is, because of her murder plans, we don't even know where she was killed. She was killed on the roof, right? She had to be killed on the roof. That's where the lattice was. Kokichi told us the roof door was locked and that he couldn't get through. Maybe that when Copa killed her. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. Did the culprit lock the door to the roof? Perhaps. I don't think Mew did it. If Mew did lock it, she would have done it when she called Kokichi to the roof. Even if someone came up, I don't believe she would change the target of her plan. She knew that Kokichi would come up later. Locking the door would be suspicious. Well, it's possible she didn't even think that far ahead. He was smart, but he was also really, really smart. She wasn't very good at hiding the fact that she was going to murder somebody. I knew something was up. What I didn't understand was why she and Kokichi would be, like, skulking around together. That made no sense. No say such mean things. Killing game bad, not Mew. Mew not bad person. Grown to think we could have been friends if things different. That might have been difficult, even without this killing game. Oh man. Laying down truths like that, Himiko, please. That wouldn't happen. Nuh-uh. No way, Jose. <laughs> Going to maybe you could have been Mew's friend. I, I do believe you could have done it. Huh? Anyway, let's continue the discussion. If Mew was killed on the roof of the mansion... Whoa, 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 and I want to point out, I want to point out something, and I did include it at the end of the, the, uh, episode, um, <laughs> the episode I, I, uh, uploaded today. There is a twit, tweet from the, uh, the actual creator of the game who made these characters himself, and he cited that he made Mew with the intention of making a character that would get in dead last on a character popularity poll. I know that's not what actually happened. I know that, like, it seems she made number four or something on the Japanese popularity poll. It, it doesn't matter. He was intentionally going for a character that people wouldn't like. So to the people who send me messages, the people who, like, you know, post, like, comments at me saying, like, I'm being mean, or why don't I understand, and why don't I like Mew? I would like to point at his own tweet that he was intentionally going for a character people would hate. If I went up to him and I told him how much Mew made me angry and how much I hated her, he would probably be delighted because that was what his intention was. That was 100% what he was going for. So it's not a matter of, like, like, 
he would he would probably have taken that with a sense of pride that I felt that way about his character. I, I just I just want to make that's the last time I'm gonna bring that up because I don't think I need to explain myself any further. I've I've explained myself in many many messages now. I'm just gonna move past it. That was what he wanted. I I for whatever reason feel exactly the way he wanted me to feel. So, you know that's that. <laughs> <clears throat> The culprit must have moved Mew's avatar to the chapel after killing her, right? Uh, in a sense. So the next thing we should talk about is how they moved her avatar. Now we know the mansion and chapel were actually next to each other. But the problem is the wall between them. Only Mew was able to go through that wall. The culprit wouldn't have been able to. And you're saying the culprit sent Mew's avatar through that wall? Yeah, that's the only way, right? But how did the culprit send Mew's avatar through the wall? I mean, it's not like they could have thrown her. Go to not throw her! We know. You couldn't because the avatar's physical strength was equalized. Physical strength equalized? That problem! Going to know can protect everyone if that happens. See, he he doesn't remember anything inside that world. I'm right. They something. Did they like mess up his headset for him, or did he not know, understand how to put the headset on right? I don't understand how he. Does he not know the difference between left and right? Wait a minute. He was sitting next to Himiko, wasn't wasn't he? He was sitting next to Himiko. Oh, did is is Gonta is Gonta left-handed? Is he left-handed? Is that why? Because Himiko said that like the right is the hand that you hold your your chopsticks in. If he's left-handed, he might have confused. He might have confused it because he, he would have he he would hold things in his left hand, and that would mean he would have switched around the the cords, which is why he might not have realized what he's done. Oh, that's I see. I'm willing to bet that's the truth of this case, and that's pretty depressing. Jeez, keep up with us. We're already in the second half of the class trial. Hmm. How did they send Mew's avatar to the other side of the wall? Maybe that thing has something to do with it. You know, the loud sound you heard? What was the sound? So because many flashbacks. Sound, you guys went to the side of the chapel. Right, Keyboy? That's when you found the dead Mew there, right? If so, then I think that sound and her avatar being by the chapel are related. Yes, there's no doubt in my mind that the noise is related to this case. We need to figure out what that sound could have been. It might be the clue. We need to solve this case. So what was it? It sounded like something slamming hard into something else. So what were those two things? It could be... Uh, the lattice hitting the wall. Maybe the lattice work next to Mew's avatar struck the wall. I was wrong. Oh my god. Mew hitting the wall? That's it. I think the sound came from Mew's avatar hitting the chapel wall. Okay. Hammer, cell phone, and lattice were there, but they were too small to make that noise. Ruling those out, the only other explanation is that the sound was Mew colliding with a wall. If that's the case, Mew's avatar must have hit the chapel wall really hard. He felt the impact all the way from the inside of the chapel. 
Yeah, that's the real question. Mew's avatar probably hit the chapel's wall with pretty considerable force. But why did it hit the wall with such force? Can you guys figure it out? Yeah. You know already. Hold on, Kokichi. What's up with the way you're talking? Right? Why are you talking like you know everything? Because he does. He saw the whole murder. I know he does now. Like, he has to have seen the murder. He's not... He's only having fun with the fact that we're trying to solve it. Which makes me even more positive he didn't do it. Because that just makes me angry. Let's not worry about that right now. More importantly, we gotta solve the mystery. Fighting among friends is a waste of time. Uh... Friends? Us? Anyway, can we talk about that after we figure this problem out? A way of transporting Mew's avatar that would cause it to crash into the chapel. Getting Mew's avatar to crash into the chapel from the mansion roof. There's only one way I can think of doing that. Hey, Shuichi, as your partner, I'll give you I a don't, hint. I don't need a hint. You what? Since the mansion was on top of a hill, the roof was pretty high up, oh right? Oh my god, you're so annoying. I, I know how this was done. Past the brick handrail, the roof was at a pretty steep slope. I don't and need your help. <laughs> faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. <sighs> if the culprit needed force to move the body, I wonder how they did it. How about you stop being coy and, and rude and patronizing and let me... If you're not going to tell the answer, then let me solve it, jerkwad. <laughs> Okichi is talking as if he's got the whole thing figured out already. But I can't let him distract me. I need to solve the case. How to make Mew hit the chapel wall from the roof of the mansion. I'm going to find the answer. I don't need this. Oh my god. Um... I, I, I want to say, I, I would have said slide, but it's, it's not that, so it's got to be, wait, ah, oh, that's the hidden Monokuma, okay, oh, slid, slid, slid off roof, it slid off roof. Got it. The culprit used this slope roof as a slide for Mew's avatar. That was the word I was gonna look for. I was like, I was like, okay, it's gonna be like slide, and then it was like four letters, three letters, four letters. I'm like, what? Why? Slide? That's my least favorite uh, thing in so far right now. Is that? Aw, oh, man. Even with the slope and the snow, Mew's body wouldn't have slid. Wrong. It would slide. But the avatars can generate friction. We wouldn't have been able to walk otherwise. So I doubt that it would have had that much momentum. No, no. It would slide. It wouldn't slide. Just like Maki Roll said. It would slide. Just like Shumai said. Who the hell is Shumai? He's a pupil of Roman Man! Uh, sorry, my hobby's not <laughs> I'm positive that was how Mew's avatar was moved, but... If you the culprit use something else as well to help her body slide... The, the lattice! Oh my god. Alright. Where is it? Lattice. Lattice, lattice. Yes, lattice. Even if her avatar Screw off the roof. that other garbage. Would it slide off that quickly? Well, duh, it would. If it made that much noise, it must have built up a lot of speed. Lots of snow piled up on the roof. Not frozen solid, right? It still slide, though. In the real world, it might be difficult. But in the virtual world, perhaps not. It's not the issue. Sliding down snow is easy to do. You just need a sled or skis to cut the friction. 
There was nothing like that. Oh, yeah. There we go. I wasn't sure if it was the earlier one, but it's definitely that. It's definitely that. No oh, wait. There was something that could have been used to help slide Mew's body. Do you remember the lattice that was found by Mew's avatar? The culprit laid it on top of that, then used it as a sled on the roof. I did notice the lattice in the storage room when I first looked. But during the investigation, I saw that it was gone. The lattice that was found next to the chapel is the one that disappeared from the roof? Then that's it! The culprit used the lattice as a sled! Ding, ding, ding! That's correct! I... You're really getting on my nerves. After the culprit killed Mew on the rooftop, <laughs> the shadow figure. on a sled and slid her down the roof's steep slope. The sled picked up speed, flew off the roof, glided through the wall only objects could pass through, and hit the chapel. The impacts made all of her belongings scatter, including the hammer and cell phone. Just like that hedgehog who loses all his rings whenever he crashes into stuff. <laughs> I... I hate that guy and his worldwide fame and his stupid games and I hate that hedgehog! <laughs> Daddy, I'm glad you're feeling motivated again, but you shouldn't be so hateful. Yeah, that would be an example to our new family. Yeah, Father. Or should I start calling you Grandfather now? <laughs> now that we know how the body slid down, we're just one step away from the culprit. Well, Shuichi, do you know who the culprit is? <sighs> yeah. There's only one person it could be. The culprit. Yeah. In the end, we'll still need to guess the culprit, huh? But Gonta can't believe one of us killed you. Just wait until I tell you who did it. However, since we know she was killed on the roof, we can narrow down the list of suspects. Meaning, the culprit must be someone who was investigating the mansion. Aside from you, the people at the chapel could not go through the wall or cross the river. So that means the suspects are Kaito, Samugi, Shuichi, and Gunta. Can't be Kaito. He was logged out and he never logged back in. That's real sneaky, leaving yourself off the list. <laughs> oh, you got me. That's right. Five suspects. Me, Samuki, Gonta, Kokichi, and Kaito. Don't know enough to name this culprit yet, but one of them is suspicious. What are you talking about? The rooftop. They clearly lied. Why would they have to lie? I'll need to press them for information before making any judgments. Wait, 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 wait. Who's the liar? Well, two people. Well, it's really just Kokichi's the liar. I don't think Gonta lied. I don't think Gonta understands. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit him with it. It's you. You definitely lied. Kokichi. There's something I need to know. Hmm. What do you need to know? Why did you lie just now? Which lie are you talking about, Shuichi? <laughs> I lie a lot, so you'll need to jog my memory. There's a lot of lies, I admit. Fine. I'll expose your lie right now. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. It all began when Mew showed us this map. That's probably what happened. The culprit killed her on the locked roof. 
It was that testimony that bothered me. It all began when you showed the map. That one. <laughs> I was just gonna uncover the first one and just pick it. I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't understand this one. When you were explaining that the door to the roof was locked, you said. Also, I never went to the roof. Not even for the meeting. What Leader, meeting? You said. Since the mansion was on the top of the hill, the roof was pretty high up, right? Past the... Oh, he described it. Past the brick handrail, the roof was a pretty steep slope. And the slopes faced the chapel wall. On top of that, there was snow on the roof. Yeah, he described the room. Okay. That's a lot of specific information. Stuff you wouldn't know if you hadn't been there. Oh yeah! Now that you mention it, how did you know all that stuff? Because it was there. I, I don't like. I knew he was there the whole time. You could probably see the steep slope of the roof from outside the mansion, but you wouldn't know about the brick handrail unless you went up to the roof yourself. Huh? What? What's this all about, Kokichi? Did you actually go to the rooftop? Yeah, you did. I, 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 I didn't. I already told you that b before. Why you look so nervous? Is this a sincere reaction? But, but there's no evidence that pr proves I went to the roof. But wait, I remember now. That thing Himiko said. Me? At the start of the class trial, I remember you saying the handrail was made of bricks. No. Ooh, you so clumsy, girl. Got to be more careful there, Himiko. Uh, I don't believe so. Is it my fault? Himiko really say that? She totally said that. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She did not! She did too! Why would she have brought it up? Then when? Tell me how long ago. In hours, minutes, and seconds. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what a worthless fight! Well, Monokuma's back into it, it seems. Stop it, Grandpa! All this terrible fighting is bad for the baby! Yeah, Grandfather! Stop them before your grandkid is born! Oh, he doesn't like that, does he? I'm not gonna apologize, cause Himiko said it! So damn stubborn! How much longer are you going to behave like this? I don't have time for this. But Kokichi is stubborn, he won't fess up no matter what. But if he's being this stubborn, it makes me think he has something to hide. To get him to show his hand, I have to prove he was on the roof. I might not like it, but... We have to be aggressive. If we don't get the whole truth now, everyone's lives are in danger. I don't get what- like, he's not even the one who's gonna be guilty. Why is he doing this? I didn't go to the roof! I've had enough of your lies, man! I'm not lying! You went to the, the roof. The rooftop door was locked and I couldn't open it! So what did Kokichi do? I turned back at once, of course. And stayed in the salon the whole time, you know? Wires burn in hell, you know? If you're lying, I'll set your pants on fire! That's fine, because I'm not lying. Then why do you look so nervous? Wait, I think I might have to lie. Kokichi's lying for sure, but if he keeps throwing lies at me, I have to fight fire with fire, yeah. Go to the roof! Yep. I've had enough of your lies, man. Wait, how do I shoot? I don't remember how to lie. <laughs> Not lying. I only deal the truth. There we go. 
Kokichi, you're lying right now, aren't you? Huh? Lying about what? Just before the murder occurred, I went to the salon to check on you. But you weren't there. What? Really? I waited there for a while. You never showed up. What's this all about, Kokichi? Didn't you go right back to the salon after finding the roof door locked? I see. You use underhanded tactics too, huh, Shuichi? So who are you guys gonna believe? Shuichi or me? Well, of course I'm gonna believe Shuichi. I believe Shuichi 100%. <laughs> the one who's not Kokichi. The one who's not Kokichi! To go to the salon, Shuichi would need to pass by me in the dining room. Um, I wonder why I didn't notice Shuichi there. Oh well, I'll believe Shuichi anyway. He's usually right about stuff. Woo. Sorry, but I'm going to believe Shuichi too. I see. I wanted at least Gonta to believe me. What comes around goes around. That's what happens to liars like you. Why do you guys hate lies that much? There's only one truth, but endless possibilities for lies. I don't want to hear it. You know? You're. I just don't understand why you're doing this. Like, if you wanted to prevent her from murdering you, which I assume you were wise on, you knew she was going to murder you. I, I think you somehow manipulated Gonta, but why'd you manipulate Gonta into this? Why'd you wrap him up into it? Why? That like that makes me so angry right now. Because I, I know I'm going to finish this trial and I'm gonna have Gonta dead and I'm gonna have to deal with Kokichi instead. And then I'm gonna be mad because he's literally like Yay, I'm glad I'm glad Mew's dead. I'm happy. But I'm, I'm now going to be equally angry that it was done because of this. Kokichi, if you had been just like the one to kill her and it had been like a self-defense thing, I would have been like, you know, Kokichi wasn't that bad of a person. He is pretty, pretty good guy. But now all I'm going to think about is how he somehow tricked Gonta into killing Mew. And I don't even know how that's even going to be possible. Because Gonta, Gonta may be easily duped into doing stuff. But he ain't gonna be duped into murder, so he did something to him to make him think that this was the only way to, to do it. And that's gonna... I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be... Ooh. And some of them are only white lies. Or lies to be kind to people. That's not what we're talking about. If you deny all of that just because it's a lie, then that means you guys are just terrible at being lied to! Seriously, the worst! Just spit it out already! You went to the roof, didn't you? Isn't that where he met up with Mew? No, he didn't just meet her there. He probably... Okay, fine. I'll tell you if you want to know that badly. Consider this my revenge. Revenge? You got some balls lying to me. I'm gonna take away your fun for pissing me off, Shuichi. I won't let you do any detective work, or deduction, or mystery solving, or anything! It's too late, I'm already done. So, I'll confess everything. You guys better listen carefully. Confess? A confession? So you are the culprit after all. God, I only wish. I came up with a plan after Mew asked me to meet up with her. She asked me pretty eagerly, too. So I decided to pry some info out of her. She gave me the rundown of the virtual world before she explained it to you guys. As I listened, I realized she was planning a murder. On me, no less. When I investigated the virtual world, I found out that a person can die from shock. Without a doubt, she planned to use that for my murder. So that's when I decided to prepare my own crime with her plan. I pretended to cooperate with her and lured everyone into the virtual world. Okay, all of this, all of this sounds pretty legit. 
Now, what what point did you rope Gonta into this? Because you roped him in from the beginning. That's also why I work together with Monokuma. I believe that as well. We already saw that. You work together with Monokuma? <sighs> I guess the jig is up. Yeah, everything he said is true. Kokichi came to me with an idea to make the killing game more interesting. It was such a good idea, I decided to place a motive in the killing game simulator. You added a motive? Then the secret of the outside world is the motive, right? No fair! Monokuma can't take sides! I didn't help him with anything, and I had nothing to do with the murder itself! He merely suggested a way to spice up the killing game, and I accepted! Kokichi and I had a quid pro quo relationship. Technically, that doesn't violate the rules. Bullshit! No matter how you look at it, you guys are working together. Oh, shh, calm down. I'll explain my relationship with Monokuma, so let me finish my confession. I'm fine with that, but you're confessing without much of a fight. That's because he has no... He doesn't have to worry about dying. <laughs> I told you. I'm gonna get in the way by taking away the mystery-solving fun. I've already gotten it. If I can't win this game, then I'll make it boring for everyone. That's my revenge. Well then, the culprit is Gonta. I'm I'm so I'm so angry right now, you guys. If if you could see my face right now, it is the face of someone who's absolutely just just super angry. I'm just, I can't, I'm, I'm mad. This is so, this is so unfair. All right. What? Huh? What did you, wait, when did go to kill you? That's a lie. He didn't kill her. Okay, she's just lying. No, this is the truth. Now you're trying to pin things on Gonta? Do you really expect us to believe such an obvious lie? Yeah, there's no way Gonta could commit a murder this complicated. He's not smart. It's my turn now. <sighs> the truth is, Gonta and I work together. We formed a duo to end this killing game. As the killing game bus! What busters? We must win this killing game in order to end this killing game. What you mean, we? By the way, I came up with a murder plan and going to carry it out. Going to what? Why are you more surprised by that than the first thing he said? Because going to have no idea what he's talking about. Come on, quit lying and tell us the truth. He's not lying. He doesn't remember. Gonta is telling the truth. He's not someone who lies all the time like you. And no matter how naive Gonta may be, I doubt he would ever team up with Kokichi. Yeah, not after insect meet and greet incident. <laughs> it's obvious what he's trying to do. Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, so Kokichi's trying to trick him. He's trying to sacrifice Gonta to escape from his crime! Ah! You're a terrible person! How dare you use Gonta like Right! That? That's exactly how I feel, even though I know Gonta actually did it. But yeah, how dare you! You're right. I'm sorry. I did something horrible to Gonta. I don't want to hear your fake apology. I didn't want Shuichi to hog all the glory, so I told everyone the truth! Cut that out. I told you it's not gonna work. I'm so mad. Don't you think I could have pulled the strings and made Gonta carry out my commands? Gonta is such a sweet boy. It doesn't matter if it's possible or not, because I say it's just impossible. It does matter. There's no need to bring emotions into class trials. Oh, you shut up. All we need is logical thinking. 
Right, Shuichi? What? Um, going to not understand what's going on. But still, going to not kill Mew. Going to really not know anything. And also, going to not tell lies. And going to not make trouble for others. I know you wouldn't. That's why I don't understand, though. What did, what did Kokichi do to you in the virtual world that made you do that? Is that, is like putting on that Pfizer incorrectly, like, break some sort of ability to think? Like, is that what happened? Did you, like, lose that part of you that, that, that has this mindset? Because I just, I don't see you doing this, man. I just don't understand what happened. Cause that not how gentlemen act. That why Gonta not culprit. Oh, sweetie, I know. Yeah, Gonta's not lying. I can tell just by looking at him. He's not lying. I already used my magic to check. Gonta's definitely not lying. Then let me ask you guys. If it's not Gonta, then who's the culprit? They're gonna blame you. You, of course. <laughs> Come on! There's already proof that I couldn't have killed Mew. Yeah, because you can't touch her. There's already proof? Oh, did you forget already? Then let me make it clear again. Why I can't be the culprit! <sighs> it's... It's so obvious you can't be the culprit. That's why it makes me sad, because I know it's gonna have to be Gonta. There's no one else who could have done it. Jesus Christ. Setting on Kokichi's avatar. Didn't I prove that to you guys already? The clue is how Mew was killed. Mew got strangled to death, right? Toilet paper was the murder weapon. Mew would have totally resisted if she was being strangled, right? Then it would have been impossible for someone as weak as me. You talking about the strength of your virtual avatar? It's not it. That wouldn't matter if you strangled her from behind. In which case, even if she did resist, the most she could have done is merely touch the culprit. Exactly. She couldn't struggle much. So you could have kept strong. I can't. That's wrong! I've got tears in my eyes. I can't fire this stupid thing straight. Actually, maybe it wasn't possible for Kokichi to strangle Mew. Why wasn't it possible? Mew modified my avatar, so if she attacked me, I wouldn't be able to resist. If Mew touched me, then I'd be unable to move. Huh? So I would have had to kill her instantly, such as stabbing or hitting. I couldn't have murdered her by strangulation, because it'd be game over if she touched me. Well, if you were using the toilet paper, you wouldn't need to touch her directly. She would be able to just, all she would need to do is place one little finger on him and that would be it. And he wouldn't even know that he needed to dodge that. But if you can't be touched while you're wrapping the toilet paper around her neck, then it would be impossible. Which means, as long as she died from strangulation, it couldn't have been me. Wait. What if it was something besides strangulation, then? Like... There's no doubt Mew was strangled. We already discussed this. Me? <laughs> Kaido is really desperate to make me the culprit. Because you're a jerk. No matter how much you whine about it, you can't change the truth. Jesus Christ. The culprit who killed Mew is Gota Gokuhara. This is the truth you all adore so much. No! Gonta not kill Mew! Oh, Gonta. It's true! You gotta believe Gonta! Gonta would never hurt anyone! I just... I don't know why. You've been risking yourself to protect everyone. There's no way Gonta would kill! He won't even kill bugs! I... believe Gonta too. I'm not gonna listen to Kokichi's lie. Uh, of course! Who'd believe a liar like him? He's lying about Gonta being the culprit, so there's no point talking about it. I don't know about that. If we want the truth, we might have to ask uncomfortable questions. Right, Shuichi? You think so too, don't you? 
Man. Huh? I know how important it is to believe, but as the ultimate detective, I know we can't solve this case with belief alone. Huh? It's just that something doesn't add up. I have this feeling something's off. We can't keep going back and forth like this. We need to discuss this. What, you want to suspect, Gonta? No, I don't. Too bad, Kaito. Looks like Shuichi agrees with me. No, I'm not trying to... Oh, the irony! You're making this so much harder for me. It's all thanks to Kaito that Shuichi got his act together as a detective. And now, Shuichi's intuition as a detective has made him more suspicious of others. Well, can't be helped. That's just what a detective does. That's not it, Kokichi. I'm just trying to make sure that everyone survi- Shuichi, going to really not do it. Oh. Going to not culprit. He's such a good boy. I know. Please believe Gonta. I know. We might as well discuss it. What? As a precautionary measure, that's all. I think we need to seriously discuss whether Gonta was capable of committing this crime. <sighs> Thanks, man. Only then can we arrive at a logical decision. You guys. Why don't you get it? That's just what Kokichi wants. He's just trying to split us up. Shuichi, open your eyes. B but Two for one truth special. Sorry to ruin this tense moment, but you guys seem pretty evenly split right now. So, the Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial. So we're gonna do that again? Shuichi, why? Why don't you understand? My god, I'm trying to make sure everyone lives! Even if I have to deal with this BS! Man, I wish... I wish I could kill everyone and let... Gonta walk out of this fine. You, you're my sidekick, aren't you? But there's too many of us who I like! Of course I want to believe Gonta. I don't want to think that he killed someone. Well, I'm, I'm doing this in my voice. <clears throat> but as the ultimate detective, I can't turn away from the truth. I need to find the truth. Gonta, honey. Damn it. I'm so mad right now. <sighs> Gonta have committed the crime. Shuichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Gonta is such a sweetheart. He wouldn't hurt a fly. Kokichi! Don't you realize these so-called sweethearts can commit crimes too? Could Gonta have even made it to the rooftop without being noticed? Kibo! The entrance hall is all that separates the rooftop from the mansion exterior. There should have been witnesses at the entrance hall! I got this! No, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed he was working with Monokuma! Kokichi! Is, is all the I answers like literally go down? Only on a temporary basis. I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Gonta not kill Mew! Honest! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. Juichi, are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? Alright. The first Shuichi, one's culprit. Are you saying that Gonta is the culprit? I got this! I can't say for sure he's the culprit. I'm saying we can't rule it out. Gonta is such a sweet Kokichi! Don't you realize so called sweet heart can crime too? Gonta have even made it to the people. There should have been witness. I got this. Come on, none of us were in charge of the entrance hall. But Kokichi confessed to Kokichi. I'm a corporate with Monokuma, but only on a temporary basis. It's all a 
lie. Kokichi is the one who killed Mew. Kibo. That isn't possible, because Kokichi's avatar had special settings. Gonta not kill Mew! I got this! The truth is, Gonta could have murdered Mew. In my opinion, as long as it is possible that Gonta is the culprit, we have to discuss it. That's ridiculous! You're going to believe Kokichi over Gonta? That's not it at all. I just want the truth. If we're going to survive, I have to find the truth. But... Gonta telling truth? I know. Gonta really not culprit we just have to find out why you can't remember things and i it's gonna be painful i'm sorry i still don't think gonta's lying he's not lying but didn't i tell you guys already if you're planning to expose a liar then you have to corner them psychologically only then will they reveal their true self as a liar hiding beneath a layer of deceit that's why it hurts my heart to persecute Gonta like this! I'm lying SOB. Gonta, if you understand, then do it right. Make logical arguments for the truth. L logical arguments? It means use your head to make arguments. Use head? What I'm trying to say is, if you aren't the culprit, then you gotta prove that you aren't! But Gonta really not know. Ugh, I'm sick of hearing you say you don't know. God, why are you so dumb? Why are you such a jerk? Oh my god. This makes me almost want Mew back. Gota just want to help everyone, like true gentlemen. You're a true gentleman? More like a true nincompoop. Oh my Jesus. Now that's just bullying! Bullying? Yeah, so what? That's what you do in this game, right? You guys blame and gang up on me, but now you're gonna pretend to be good people? No, I, I never ganged up. Gonta, argue back already! Just make an excuse or whatever! Stop it! That's enough! Stop yelling at him! Jesus Christ! Hmm? Stop what? You mean, stop the game? No, stop yelling at Gonta! Hey, do you even know what you're saying? Yeah, I know. What about it? I don't want to survive if it means I have to stoop to your level. Oh, that's a low blow right there. Then just die in a hole for all I care! We want to live, so stop getting in our way! Wait. If you don't shut your mouth, then I'll shut it for you. Permanently. Maki, please, calm down. Sorry. It Gonta's fault. Everyone's so upset. What? Gonta telling truth? Gonta really not culprit? Does Gonta not know anything? Really? Cut it out already! That's all you've been saying this whole time! Because he doesn't know, you jerk! You're the one that needs to cut it out! What did Kai Ko Wait, what did Kokichi say? All you've been saying this whole time, that's true about Gonta. This whole time, Gonta's been saying he doesn't know anything. Gonta not understand either. Mew... Gonta not understand either. Mew like this when Gonta wake up. Gonta was sleeping too, had strange dream. Going to not understand anything. Going to not know. Murder already happened when going to wake up. But why this happened? Why Mew killed? Going to not understand. Going to not understand anything. Cause going to have no idea what he's talking about. When did, 
when exactly did he start using that defense? After logging out of the virtual world. That's it. That's it. It was after he logged out, Gabby. Did Golta get into an accident in the virtual world? Accident? The accident that hurt Gonta, that was... <sighs> the Avatar era. This is it! When we logged into the virtual world, an Avatar user error occurred. <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna do this. It's, I already know. We already seen this flashback. It's fine. There was an error. We're going past it. An Avatar user error? Oh. Ever since going to logged out, he's been saying, I don't know. I don't understand. That's because Gonta doesn't understand the virtual world, right? That's what I thought at first, but I think it's because of the error. What you mean? That error is what's affecting Gonta, and it's making him forgetful and loopy. Then what could? Then what was that? Then what was that error? What could it have been? Oh God! Really? I don't. that Gonta doesn't remember what happened in the virtual world. Huh? He doesn't remember? You started saying, I don't know anything, after leaving the virtual world. I think that's the result of some kind of memory error. Oh, that's why he doesn't remember anything that happened in the virtual world. Not even killing Mew. What? That's ridiculous! Quit screwing around! Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous! What do you mean he doesn't remember? He's just confused! No, he didn't. Gonta told us he was bad with computers, remember? Memory or no memory? Gonta never hurt anyone! That's no way Gonta's the culprit! I don't Don't probably device instruction. You did it, but you don't remember. Gentlemen, gentlemen, protect friends! Your eyes aren't protecting anyone. But because you're not lying! That means they're one! of the air that affected Gonta's avatar is the two cords on the helmet used to log into the virtual world. Yeah, that's right. Himiko was next to him. I think that Gonta messed up something with the cords, causing the error. If he mixed the consciousness and memory cords, then there'd be an error with memory. Like, an error that won't let you bring your avatar's memories to the real world? What? Gonta, do you think it's possible that you improperly connected the cords? Huh? How Gonta supposed to remember that? He, he couldn't have messed it up. I said it over and over. Right is the hand you hold your chopsticks in. Oh, but Gonta holds chopsticks with this hand. There's nothing to be laugh or be happy about right now. What? Decided. He's wrong, isn't he, Gonta? You remember the virtual world, don't you? Gonta not remember. Gonta not even go to this virtual world place. Oh, sweetie, I know you would never lie. What? Gonta fall asleep when he put helmet on. When Gonta wake up, you dead. 
going to not know what happened. So, going to worry. Going to not understand what everyone talking about. No, it can't be. But going to try his best to understand. Going to imagine real hard. That's enough, Gonta. We already know. <laughs> Such a sweet boy. I'm sorry. You know what? We know that you totally forgot about teaming up with me and killing Mew. Wait a minute! That lie! Going to not kill Mew! Because why would Going to do that? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Yeah, it's a lie! I'll never accept this! And besides, Gota's got no motive to kill Mew! I already gave you my testimony on how I came up with the murder plan. And I'm saying I don't believe you! Kokichi, if what you're saying is true, why did you plan it this way? You wanted to plan the murder yourself, but have someone else carry it out? Yeah, why, you dick? Is the person who planned it also included as a blackened with the perpetrator? Nope! Only the person who actually commits the murder becomes the blackened! Oh, how I wish it wasn't like that. Then there's no incentive to just plan the murder. But Gonta is such a gentle soul. Why would he agree to this? Hold on! That hasn't been decided yet! Who cares about the motive? Let's vote for the culprit already! This is why Kokichi wanted to make sure that if the vote's tied, that the blackened would go. He knew that people weren't going to take this this answer. He made sure to break in the clause because we're going to break even on this vote, aren't we? I care about the motive! Well, I don't care. Finding the culprit is more important in this class trial. Talking about the motive is meaningless. It's not necessary for this specific case. No matter what you say, I'll never believe your lies. We all agree that Gonta is the culprit, right? It would be impossible for anyone but him. Sadly, it is impossible because it, it seemed Kokichi legitimately did not know that Mew had planned a way to make it so that way he couldn't touch her. Impossible? Why? It's pretty obvious if you use the process of elimination. Which means, Shuichi, you'll be my partner, right? Me. Because if you don't face the truth, then we'll all die. Right? And you don't want that, do you? No. Just don't okay, talk to me let's right begin. now. Don't talk to me. Quit screwing around. I'm done putting up with your selfish bullshit. <sighs> Kaito, we should listen to his explanation. Our lives depend on it. <sighs> so, we can now take Keyboy, Himiko, and Maki off the suspect list. Shuichi, would you care to explain? I doubt they'll believe it if it came from me. The reason Kibo, Himiko, and Maki can be eliminated as suspects is because... <sighs> yep. They couldn't get to the crime scene, could they? The bridge from the chapel to the mansion was gone, and only Miu could pass through the wall. The three at the chapel had no way to get to the mansion, so they couldn't have done it. Kaito is the next one off our suspect list, and you know why, right? It was locked out. Kaito had logged out ahead of us. Mew logged Kaito out from the start. But she did that to make us think the murder happened in the real world, right? Since we figured out the actual killing happened in the virtual world, it would have been impossible for Kaito, who had already logged out. Mew's time of death was around 6.30 in the morning. That's after Kaito logged out. Mm. Kokichi's completely running the show now. My synergy with Shuichi is super on point now. So let's move on to the remaining suspects. Gonta, Samugi, Shuichi, and me. Samugi and Shuichi can be crossed off. But what's the reason for that? We have solid alibis. Samugi and I are witnesses to each other's alibis. Both of you heard Mew hitting the chapel wall, right? 
The culprit was definitely on the roof during that time, since they slid Mew down. Because of that, Shuichi and Samugi can't be the culprit. That leaves only Gonta and me as the remaining suspects. Then you're the culprit! Sorry for getting your hopes up, but didn't I already explain that's impossible? He couldn't have killed Mew. If Mew touched him, he'd freeze in place. Kokichi wasn't capable of strangling her. So then, it's down to one person. And... who was that again? <laughs> oh no, don't cry. Well, who is it? Gunta. Don't answer, Shuichi. You don't need to answer that. This is all Kokichi's trap. Son of a... There's only one suspect left. Only one person could have done this. You didn't mean it. I know you didn't. You wanted it's, us all to be friends. It's Gonta. Sh Shuichi? Yep. Gonta is the only person who could have committed the murder. You get it now, right? That's the truth we were all reaching for. <sighs> the thing you guys wanted so badly. A truth without any lies! Son of a bastard. You Iruma's killer is Gonta Goku Hara! Uh, really? Did Gonta really do it? I don't know why, though! Jeez, is that really your reaction? It would have been fun if you went all crazy. But you forgot everything, so oh well. A culprit who can't remember their murder is pretty interesting. So, better than nothing. If Gonta remembered, his cover would have been blown so fast. Especially since he's an idiot. You're an idiot. Hold on. I, I still haven't accepted this. This has gotta be Kokichi's trap. It is Kokichi's trap, but that doesn't mean Gonta didn't kill. I still believe in Gonta. He's not the kind of person who'd kill. Of course he's not. That's why I want to know. Kaito. I already said this a million times, Kaito. You shouldn't use emotions. You want proof? I've got your proof. <laughs> After Sumugi and Shuichi heard Kibo's voice in the mansion, they ran outside. And who did they see out there? Oh, Shuichi and Sumugi. Gonta, did you see Kibo around here anywhere? N no, Gonta not see him. Gonta. Kokichi said it himself. He was he was hiding the toilet paper out there, wasn't he? When Yu's avatar crashed into the chapel wall, the culprit must have been on the roof. I see. If Gonta's the culprit. It'd be weird if he wasn't on the roof. It's possible that he fled the mansion after he heard the impact. You'd have to go through the entrance hall to get outside the mansion from the roof. Is that where Shuichi and Sumugi ran to when they heard the crashing sound? And maybe he jumped off the roof. It's not possible. That rooftop was pretty high up. I don't know how he did that. Normally, Gota could have done it, but his avatar wasn't strong enough. How about that? Now you get it, right? If Gonta was the culprit, there's no way he could have been outside the mansion. Now you can't say Gonta's the culprit. Congrats, Gonta. What? Really? Would have been so nice if that were the truth. If Kaito were right and this horrible trial would just end. But... No, that's wrong. What? Just because Gonta was at the mansion, doesn't mean that he isn't the culprit. All the culprit needed was a way to get from the roof to outside the mansion. Huh? <laughs> Looks like Shuichi got it. I'll leave the rest to him. Did he, like, use the toilet paper to scale down the building somehow? Kaito, 
I know how you feel. I know because we all feel it. Do we like loop that toilet paper around the the binocular pole thing and then scale down the building and then just like unravel it? And then he was and then he was like caught by us as he was getting away from there. But we have to face the truth. No matter how cool that truth may be, we need to face it to survive. Whose side are you on, Shuichi? Kaito, please. I'm on Kaito's side, side that wants me to go for the truth, no matter how painful it is. Aren't you my sidekick? Was that just a lie? Kaito! Fine then! I'll tear that sorry reasoning of yours apart and wake you up! Only it could. I can't doubt my detective work now. If I want us all to survive, I can't back down. I'll never accept this! Don't you know Gonta at all? He's not the kind of guy who kills him. Why are you listening to Kokichi? What Kokichi has done to us! Remember how Gonta's always tried to protect us? How could Gonta be the culprit? Still when I accuse him, huh? You say truth this, truth that. There's a reason Gonta's not the culprit. Who do you want to believe? God, it's obvious who I want to believe. What Kokichi has done to us! Damn it! There's no way to leave the mansion from the rooftop! Toilet paper discovered outside the mansion. It ends here. Damn it! The toilet paper we found outside the mansion. I'll admit, it feels better having Kaito be so against me and angry about this. Cause boy, if I had to do that against Gonta at this point, and watch him break down about how he wouldn't do it, I would break down into pieces. That's what the culprit Christ. used to get from the roof to the ground. Toilet paper? The same toilet paper that was used as the murder weapon. That's why we didn't find it anywhere else. Not at the scene of the crime, nor on Yu's body. It was outside the mansion. Hold on. If they use the toilet paper as a rope to get down from the roof, then they need to tie it to something. But there was nothing to tie it to. I know because I investigated the roof. You're stubborn, Kaito. You're still going on about this. Of course I am. I'm going to believe in Gota till the very end. No, there was something that the toilet paper could have been tied to. What? Yes, the place where the toilet paper was tied down. There! The binoculars on the rooftop. The toilet paper could have been tied there. <sighs> However, I don't think the culprit actually tied it down there. They yeah. just hung it. Because if they had tied it, they would have no way to break it, it off. And then use the doubled up toilet paper to climb down. But in that case, they would have had to tug on it in order to take it down. Yep, that's correct. Because I came up with that idea. But I thought I told Gonta to put the toilet paper back in the bathroom. Oh, I just ran into someone on the way and then threw it somewhere close by. Like Kaito's morale is shot, so this whole thing is done now. The matter does appear to be settled. Th that it's 
so the truth going to really kill me but i'm the one who came up with the plan anyway just to make your crime going to even though you don't remember you still did it but why are you going to do such terrible thing there's no way he would have done it on his own kokichi did something and that little prick caused Gonta to do this. Wait, before you start crying, you gotta admit your crime first. Stop. I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Dang.